So the iPhone 14 Pro Max is finally here and today's video is all about charging. Its battery is slightly smaller than its predecessor and its charging wattage is exactly the same at 27 watts. And if history is anything to go by, it's probably gonna charge slower, but that's why we're doing this video so that we can figure that out, especially when comparing it to some of its greatest rivals, of course, its predecessor, the 13 Pro Max, as well as its biggest rival, the S22 Ultra from Samsung and the two Xiaomi devices, the 12S Ultra, which is only available in China and the Xiaomi 12 Pro, which has the fastest charging of the 10. Or is it actually gonna hold its own quite well against its predecessor and its greatest rivals? This is Technic, and without further ado, let's find out. So before we get things going, making sure that all phones are currently unplugged and all sitting on 0%, checking the temperature of all of them, they've all been sitting idle at room temperature for a while. There has been a heat wave in South Africa as of recent days, so it is a little bit hotter than usual, but I did cool them down quite a significant amount. I have made sure that all of them have been disabled in terms of battery optimization or them capping at 80% on different devices over here. And I have also made sure that boost charging is enabled on the 12 Pro. It is not there on the 12S Ultra, however. And we do have all the fast charging options enabled on the Samsung. We have the time interval at the top right hand corner and the battery percentage below the branding of each device above each device is in relation to that time interval. It is not in real time and the temperatures that you see just above the phone underneath the battery percentage is also tied in with that time interval. So after five minutes, we have the Xiaomi 12 Pro and 13 Pro Max actually tying for the lead over here. And after 10 minutes, we have the iPhone 14 Pro Max at 20% matching that of the 13 Pro Max at 20%, matching that of the Samsung at 20%, 22% on the 12S Ultra coming second only to that of its little brother, the 12 Pro, which is sitting at a whopping 37%. Though the Xiaomi 12 Pro is the hottest, strangely enough, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra is the coolest over here. Pretty interesting. And after 16 minutes, they start to trickle up quite a bit, 29% of the 14 Pro Max, 1% ahead of its predecessor, 29% matching the 14 Pro Max is the S22 Ultra, 34% on the 12S Ultra, once again, still only second to its little brother, the 12 Pro, sitting at 50%. 50% already in just 16 minutes, which is absolutely mental. But you gotta bear in mind that the 12 Pro has done it faster, though the last time I charged the 12 Pro, I used the Chinese variant. A little bit on that a tad bit later, but as of now, after 30 minutes, we have 47% on the 14 Pro Max, 45% on the 13 Pro Max, so the 14 Pro Max now beating its predecessor by 2%, 49% now beating the 14 Pro Max is the Samsung S22 Ultra, 56 on the 12S Ultra, and 85% on the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Absolutely mental in terms of charging speed. I really thought that iPhone would have increased their charging wattage speed this time around this year. It would have been nice, hopefully on the 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max, they do do that at least at 45 watts like Samsung are doing with the S22 Ultra, but as we've seen, from the Samsung in the past, the difference between 45 and 25 watts isn't too much of a difference. The Xiaomi 12 Pro, while I was mentioning that, ended off in 35 minutes with an end temp of 51.6 degrees in Celsius, which is mentally hot, but it has gotten hotter before under better conditions. And this time with the heat wave, it still didn't get as hot as it has gotten as hot before in the past. And it did 50% in 16 minutes and 80% in 29 minutes. Moving to the hour mark interval over here, after that last interval being 45 minutes, we had the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which was the coolest. And now after the hour, we have 80% on the 14 Pro Max, 78% on the 13 Pro Max, 90% on the S22 Ultra, which is now 10% ahead of the latest iPhone device that being the 14 Pro Max. We have 100% on the 12S Ultra, after that hour mark interval, when I was checking the temps and the percentage of all devices, finished in exactly 60 minutes. In the past, it got around 43 minutes, so it took a little bit longer over there, but 50% in 26 minutes, 46 minutes to get 80%. And I did check the battery optimization, and it is still set to off on both iPhones, but they are sitting at 80%. And something interesting, I did read an article online, and if iPhones get too hot, and they really didn't get much hotter here, maybe one degree, in Celsius hotter than I have done in the past. They sit at 80% until they cool down to continue charging. Something very interesting and I thought I would share it with you guys here today because it is a bit odd. If you need to charge your phone up to 100% and it's a little bit too hot, your phone's gonna say, even with battery optimizations off, it's gonna say, nope, we're not gonna charge for a while. And you can see that after an hour and 15 minutes, they are finally starting to pick up all the 14 Pro Max, at least now on 82%. The 13 Pro Max still sitting on 80%, even after 15 minutes of trying to cool itself down. And in the same time, the S22 Ultra Clock out there at an hour and 15 minutes, so 75 minutes, not too bad, not too far off the 12S Ultra with a bigger battery than the 12S Ultra from Xiaomi and slower charging at 45 watts as opposed to the 67 watt charging that we saw on the Xiaomi. The iPhone 13 Pro Max is now finally increasing its percentage over here 
reaching the hour and 30 minute mark with 88%. And even though it paused for so long, it's actually almost caught up to the 14 Pro Max now sitting on 90%. So only a 2% difference between the two over here with the latest device and the older device that being the 14 and 13 Pro Max respectively. The interesting thing over here though is that the iPhone 13 Pro Max has 96% battery health where the 14 Pro Max, of course, I just got it. It has 100% battery health. So. Something to bear in mind here, the iPhone 14 Pro Max is beating the 13 Pro Max by 1% after an hour and 45 minutes. But it's really interesting to see that the 13 Pro Max actually surpasses the 14 Pro Max after the two hour mark interval, getting 99%, now 8% ahead of the 14 Pro Max, its successor, which is really interesting because the battery health is directly affecting the charging time, of course, because it does not need to charge as much at the end. So in other words, it actually has a smaller battery when your battery health is lower. Well, that's my take anyway. Anyway, let me know your thoughts if the battery health on the iPhones does affect charging time. The 13 Pro Max actually beat the 14 Pro Max with two hours and two minutes, and the 14 Pro Max just clocked out with two hours and eight minutes, both of them over two hours. Not a big difference between them, though the 14 Pro Max, as memory serves, the newer iPhones always tend to charge a bit slower than the older iPhones. Fifth place over here, we have the iPhone 14 Pro Max, two hours and eight minutes with 27 watt charging and a mere 4,323 milliamp hour battery. Not far in front of that is fourth place, being the iPhone 13 Pro Max, its predecessor, two hours and two minutes, just six minutes faster charging, same wattage at 27 watts, slightly larger battery at 4,352 milliamps. Third place, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, a lot quicker than both the iPhones, are in 15 minutes, though I have seen it charge faster before, 45 watt charging, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, that being the largest battery of the test. Here. Second place, second largest battery, that being the Xiaomi 12S Ultra doing it in an hour, 15 minutes quicker than that of the Samsung thanks to the 67 watt charging and 4,860 milliamp hour battery. And first place, the Crown King, that being the Xiaomi 12 Pro, 35 minutes, 120 watt charging, the fastest of the test, smallest battery though, of the Android devices, 4,600 milliamps. Now the iPhone 14 Pro Max did charge slower than its predecessor, the 13 Pro Max, but both of them charged slower than their predecessors, the 12 Pro Max and the 11 Pro Max. So the 12 Pro Max actually did it in an hour and 45 minutes, and the 11 Pro Max did it in an hour and 58 minutes, both of which have smaller batteries than these guys. When it comes to the Samsung, though it didn't do too bad at an hour and 15 minutes quicker than both iPhones over here, it did do a tad bit slower than its predecessors, the S21 Ultra and the S20 Ultra. When it comes to the Xiaomi devices, the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra beat the Xiaomi 12S Ultra by quite a bit. It did 35 minutes as opposed to this time around 60 minutes. And the Mi 10 Ultra, a two year old phone with 120 watt charging. Yes, they used to include 120 watt charging on their Ultra devices way back when, did it in just 28 minutes. And when it comes to the Xiaomi 12 Pro, the Mi 11 Pro did it in 35 minutes. So the exact same as this one, which did it in 35 minutes, though that had 67 watt charging and a larger battery. This has a smaller battery and 120 watt charging. Very strange over there. And the Mi 10 Pro did it in 51 minutes. So of course it beat that because that just had 50 watt charging. Of course, I like to compare the results of the current test to previous tests with these exact same phones. So the iPhone 14 Pro Max, of course, I haven't tested before, but I'm gonna do a lot more charging tests. So stay tuned for that one and we'll compare it in the future. They do tend to charge faster over time. The iPhone 13 Pro Max, last time out about a month ago, did it in an hour and 51 minutes. So not too far off that with two hours and two minutes. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra last time out did it in an hour and two minutes as opposed to an hour and 15 minutes this time around. The Xiaomi 12S Ultra did it in 43 minutes. So 17 minutes slower this time. And the Xiaomi 12 Pro did it 15 minutes slower. It did it in just 20 minutes last time as opposed to 35 minutes this time. But it's pretty interesting since the last time I tested out the Xiaomi 12 Pro, I actually tested out the Chinese variant of the device. This is is the global variant. Not sure if there's much of a difference over there, but I do know there are some regulations in global markets. So just some food for thought over there. Now, in terms of them charging a bit slower, like I mentioned at the start of the test, there has been a bit of a heat wave here in SA, but I thought it would still be interesting for you guys to see what these phones are like when charging under heat. Now I did cool down the studio significantly. It was a lot cooler in here as opposed to outside, but the Xiaomi 12 Pro being the fastest, ending off the quickest, was the hottest in terms of end and peak. And no surprise here, the iPhone 14 Pro Max was the coolest in terms of end and peak, with the iPhone 13 Pro Max not too far behind that, and the Samsung pretty much sitting in the middle of the pack, pretty close to the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. Let me know your thoughts of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it and you learned a thing or two as well. This is Technic, and I'll catch you in the next one.